Hey dear Coder, welcome back to API Coder. Today's video, we will be diving into a live camera feed web application using Flask, Socket IO, and OpenCV. This project will allow us to stream a real time video from camera directly to a web browser, enabling applications like video surveillance, remote monitoring, and more. Benefit of this project Before we jump into the course, let's talk about benefits of this project. First, we will harness socket.io for seamless real-time update between the server and client. This means instant video feed updates without refreshing the page. Second, by integrating OpenCV, we gain a powerful capabilities for capturing and processing video frames efficiently. This project flexible opens the door to various applications where live video streaming is essential. Setting up the code environment and dependencies. To get started, make sure you have Python installed. We will use Flask for our web framework and OpenCV for capturing video frames and Socket IO for real-time communication. You can install this library using pip. Pip install Flask OpenCV and event lit Flask Socket IO. Don't worry about this installation. I'll just provide an installation link in the description. Flask application setup. We begin by setting up our Flask application that includes importing necessary libraries in slicing Flask and configure Shocker.io for real-time communication. OpenCV library for capturing and processing video frameworks. Base64 encoding for converting image data to text format. Lightweight concurrent programming library for incorporating multitasking. Flask web framework for creating a web application and socket IO library for real time bit reason. So, I have imported here these libraries. Here, I have initialized the Flask application and socket IO. I have Flask name and socket IO is equal to socket IO.app. So, this function index function rendered the index.html template on the root URL where all the video feed will be shown. So, you can see this is the index.html where all the video feed will be shown here. A real time video will be shown here. Def capture frames. Especially, this function capture the frame from the default camera and emit them to clients. Cap is equal to CB2 video capture is zero. And slice the video cap from the default camera. So, if you have any URL or any IP camera, so you can add here by using single quotation or double quotation. You can use if not, cap dot is open. Print error could not open camera. Print error message if camera fails to open. While true, red frame is equal to cap read. Read frame from the camera. If not read, print error failed to capture frame. Encode the frame as JPG. Buffer equals cv 2 im code. JPG frame convert the frame to JPG format. JPG as a text. Base 64.64 encode buffer decode UTF8 encode JPZ data to base 64. Image encode frame to all connected clients. So, especially this function, uh, this code socket IO image frames JPZ as a text. Send the frame data to clients listening from the frame events. Event late sleep 0.1. Sleep briefly to allow other tasks execute. Cap dot release. Release the camera resources when done. If name main, start the Flask server with socket.io. Socket.io to start a background task and run the capture frame concurrently in the background. Socket.io dot run app host and port is equal to 5000. So run the application, Flask application with the socket.io on a specified host and port. So guys, now let's see in action. As a frame capture the camera, they are extremely light to the web interface without any delay. This demonstrates the powerful real-time communication and showcase how quickly changes are reflected on the screen. As you can see this is the real time, how changes are reflected on the screen. If I open if I will stop here so you can see we are getting disconnected 
if we stop the code running code so it will be disconnected um, as long as I run the code so it will take time to running code and now the code is executed and when I go to the web page you can see this automatically refresh without doing refreshes manually in conclusion we have successfully built a live camera feed web application using flask socket.io and OpenCV. this project open up possibilities of various real-time streaming application as for a future enhancements consider adding filter modify the camera field for optimizing performance for higher frame rates thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please subscribe and leave any question feedback in the comment below and stay tuned for more tutorial and project see you in next time